Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to set the page size of the grid view control with the drop down list. And here we got the final output. I'm selecting the page size 7. So here we got the employee record 7 in the grid view control. Now I'm selecting 20. In the employee table, when I select 20, I got only 11 rows only because in our employee table we have 11 rows only. If I set 3, see we got 3. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET web application. Go to File, New, Project. I am selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is Page Size Grid View Drop Down List. Click OK. And from the templates I am choosing Empty. Click OK. And here the project is successfully created. Let's open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding one new web form page. Right click the project name. Add. New item. I'm selecting web form. The web form page name is drop down list. Grid view page size add and here we got the source page of the newly created web page now I'm adding the center tag between this form and do tag center h1 how to set the page size of grid view with drop down list horizontal line now after the horizontal line I am adding one drop down list control and one grid view control let's open toolbox the drop down list control first I am adding after that I'm adding the grid view control. Open toolbox again. I'm expanding the data folder and here is the grid view control. Now in the drop down list control, I'm adding list items. ASP list item. I'm adding three list items for the page size. One is a three. The page size is 3, 7, and 20. That's it. Up to now, we have done the designing part. I right click the mouse, go to view code. Now, in this code behind, I'm adding the namespaces using system.data, using system.configuration, using system.data. SQL client. After adding these three namespaces, next thing I'm adding my database in the server explorer. Open the server explorer. I click the data connections, add connection. The server name, I'm adding my SQL server name. After adding the server name, I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB is my user database. I'm selecting that one. Test connection is succeeded. Okay, okay. And here the sample db.dbo connection is added under data connections. Now we need the sample db.dbo data source. Right click that one, go to properties. And in the properties, notice in the connection string there is a data source. Copy this one. Let's add this data source in the web.config file. Open Solution Explorer. Open web.config file. 
Now in the web.config file, inside the configuration, I'm adding connection strings. Add name is equals to my connection connection string. I'm adding the data source provider name system dot data dot SQL client. After adding the connection string in the web.config file, switch to the code behind. Now in this page load, I'm binding the table in a grid view control. String main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings. Between double calls, I'm adding my connection string name, which is my connection. I'm pasting here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I'm adding this main con object in the connection string string SQL query is equals to here the SQL query is a select statement before writing the select statement let's open the SQL server we'll check the table and the column names Table name is the employee which contains 4 columns and 11 rows. Let's bind this employee table into a grid view control. Select stuff from employee table name SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters. The first parameter is the SQL query. Copy this one and paste here comma and the second parameter is the SQL connection object SQL con let's open the connection string con.open SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter I'm adding SQL com data table dt is equals to new data table sda.fill I'm filling the data with the data table object let's bind the grid view control grid view 1 which is a grid view id data source is equals to I'm adding the data table object grid view 1 dot data bind method let's close the connection string sql con dot close method that's it we have binded the grid view control with the employee table now before adding the functionality of the page size with the drop down list control let's check the basic output how it looks on the browser google chrome and here we got the output of that call notice we got the drop down list control with the list items and a grid view is binded with the employee table. Now my aim is I want to set the size of the grid view control with the help of the drop down list control. Let's switch back to the visual studio. We'll finish the rest of the code. And stop debugging. Switch to the design mode. On the source page in the drop down list control, I'm adding auto post back is equals to true. So, this is very important property. After adding this property auto post back is equals to true, now I'm adding an event for this drop down list control. For that, switch to the design mode. Double click the drop down list control. And here we got the selected index changer event at the drop down list control. Now I'm adding the grid view one dot page size is equals to drop down list one dot selected value. And notice we got the error cannot implicitly convert type string to int. So let's convert this one convert dot to int 32. Now after setting the page size of the grid view control, 
with the drop down list selected value now I want to bind the data into a grid view control so instead of writing the whole code I'm just copying this part I just changing the select query select star from employee select top plus plus I am adding grid view one dot page size copy this one paste here that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the final results on the browser I am reloading the browser and here we got the final output I am selecting the page size 7 so here we got the employee record 7 in the grid view control. Now I'm selecting 20 in the employee table. When I select 20, I got only 11 rows only because in our employee table we have 11 rows only. If I set 3, see we got 3. That's it.